Hello everyone, this is Alan from GoThrough and in this uh, video we're gonna talk about uh, this little camera Insta360 X4 and how we can get the INSP 360 images from this camera to our laptop or desktop computer and converting them to JPEG. Now, the first thing you need to do is to, let's switch to the screen, go to open a new tab in your preferred browser and search for Insta360 Studio. And first link, this is the software that you want and you're going to download uh, based on the operating system that you have Windows or Mac, I'm on min, uh, Windows right now. So we're gonna download and install the application and then we're gonna launch it. Oh, I already have it installed and this is uh, the Insta360 Studio. Now we're gonna take the camera, connect it to an USB-C and connect it to our uh, computer and start it and we will be asked if you want to be in transfer mode or USB mode and you can select transfer mode now um, when you do it like this uh, and you have Insta360 Studio started <coughs> you will be asked if you want to import all the 360 images from the camera directly into Intel 360 Studio. You can do that and you, you just click on import all, but uh, the way I like it is to copy the raw images to a folder uh, on my computer and then uh, from there I can push it to Insta360. This way I have a copy of the raw images so just in case anything happens I know okay I have that copy and um, so I will just click the click later and we're gonna open uh, file explorer and because we connected the camera to USB I have here USB and we want to go to DCIM and then camera 01 and these would be the images that um, that we have. I will order them based on the uh, date. Um, so these are from uh, September 15th and I will select them and Ctrl C to copy them. And it's the way you like it to move. These files, you can move it to your preferred folder. Um, in my case, I'm a fan of uh, Total Commander. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just gonna go to the place I like to save my 360 images. You should be organized and have your uh, always your 360 images and your work images in a particular order. Like I prefer to have them organized by year and then the uh, month and the day. So this way I always know, I, I have them by date and I know exactly and by name on what I did in that day and capture. So I have the, this folder here and then I'm just gonna control V and copy uh, all these images in there we have the images as INSP this is a format like with the images in ISP format they are not stitched yet uh, they look like two uh, fisheye lenses like this and that's why we need the uh, Insta360 Studio to be able to uh, stitch them into a 360 image. So we're gonna select these images and drag and drop it in here. And yeah, these are my images. Um, so what I have here, oh, I've been in this day to Wonderland in, in Toronto. 
and yeah, with my son and my daughter. And this is an uh, actual. Uh, I have an. Uh, yeah, this is an interval, and I have also 360 images. Okay, no, not the. Uh, yeah, and this is, I think, an HDR, yeah, so this is an HDR image. Okay, now a few things about Industry 360. You can choose uh, the way you want to the image to be displayed. And you can have it Little Planet or any other mode. So let's say we leave it on Little Planet. And then we want to export it. And this is the important part. Because I'm not sure I understand why, but for some reason, when you click on export, uh, Insta360 by default puts the export reframed photo. Now, I would love to be set up on export 360 images because that's why you create 360 image because I want to, a 360 image, not a reframe photo. I don't know. I may be someone that is not uh, the general use case. So you have to click on export 360 photo. This is very important. Yeah? And then you choose the destination where you want. So let's see. I want them in here. Let's say I will create a 360 folder in here. Copy that folder and I'm going to change to there. So that's where we want the images. And yeah, we want them. This would be the original. Yeah. And we click export. And once we click export, we have here and uh, the images like Q and you will see them how they are getting exported. Now I exported only one image, but let's go ahead and export all the images. So this is the image exported. Yeah, so that's the image. So let's delete it. And we're gonna select everything. Click on the first, hold shift, click on the last and we're gonna click export for some reason i'm not sure this particular pop-up window gets behind so i have to click alt tab i'm not sure why uh, and i'm clicking export 360 photo original resolution apply horizon leveling and yes we want it as jpeg and we just click export and if we click on this Again, I have to click. We see them as being processed. So if you have more, you're going to see them all being processed. Here, close. Let's open our... And then we're going to have the individual 360 images. And if you have uh, uh, intervals, you, you're going to have a folder for, for that. Yeah. So once you have the images as a JPEG, you can... Uh, yeah, go ahead and um, upload them to go through and then go through you can connect them and create a virtual tour okay so this is um, the today video and uh, yep, don't forget to subscribe to our channel that's very important for us and uh, yeah keep the good work take care bye bye